SWB Audio capture, not registered. The music is louder than I am. Yeah, I turned I just turned it down. It should be better now. <laughs> is it better? Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Poppy oh, girl. Look, I cat treats and dog treats. We are good to go on the treats.
Okay, Jester's here. Mike is here. Wiglaf's here. Anubis is here. You should play the Chrono Games one day. And you should play them on stream so people can help you. Because they are confusing. <laughs> that is my recommendation to you. Alright, we are here later than anticipated. But, uh... You know. When the dog is snuggling on top of you, you gotta do it. You just gotta stay and hang out with the puppy. Oh god, how am I always out of Pokeballs? I'm gonna try... I think it's the audio app, not me that's having the problem. Quit. Okay, you might lose sound for a second. SWB audio capture not registered. Yeah, there we go. Now I can hear it and you can hear it. That's what we want. Okay. Two treats in the treat bank. Oh, let me update this also while we're here. Hold on. How is everybody today? We had quite the adventure this morning. She got to live her absolute best life. Going for a bike ride. Uh, she got tons of treats from the front desk because she's so cute. updated to reflect the addition of the puppy okay what do you use to make the pokemon appear when the pokemon game announces it uh it's just a browser source big laugh i can send it to you on discord i'm a great catch up day survivor is finished i'm watching obi-wan i have hp set up for over the weekend or tonight my goodness mike productive uh, Wiglaf has 30 essays to grade today and graded 34 yesterday. You gotta be so close to being done, right? I feel like school is over. My climbing partner is a TA and they're like done done. Doing well here work let me off at noon to make this an extra long Memorial Day weekend. Oh, very nice. Uh, Wiglaf, let me send that to you now before I forget. Grades are due at midnight. Yeah, okay. The 30 today are your last. Good, good, good. My wife is a professor and I've seen the video of having to never stop grading papers. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you like that. I got my chewy delivery today. So we have lots of... That's why we have the all the treats. She's got a new bone to chew on for teething puppies. Which is safe for while she's still losing teeth. I thought she was done, but she lost one today. And I can see the same one on the other side will still have to come out, so. Still got some teeth coming in. So she's got a good teething bone. It's chicken flavored, I guess? I don't really know how that works. It's not edible, but fine. I trimmed her nails so that hopefully she won't hurt me so much when she's all excited and jumping all over me and scratching the shit out of 
every part of my body. <laughs> Wiglaf, you're excited for Obi-Wan? Post Show Recaps is going to have an Obi-Wan podcast. I can't remember who's on it. Uh, but you should check it out. I think we have a Star Wars feed. It's probably in the Star Wars feed. If that is of interest to you, I can link to that. You watched it last night? It was so good. Very good. Uh, I no longer have Disney+, Plus, but I am happy that you enjoyed it. I'm not a big Star Wars person. I don't know if this is a thing people know about me on the internet. It's known in the Discord, but... Mike Bloom, Philly, and LT. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because that was the same group that did whatever the last one was. Book of Boba Fett. I'm in the middle of episode two. I won't say anything yet, but there's something on here that I wasn't expecting, but I love it. I was not raised on Star Wars. Um, when Phantom Menace came out, it was showing at the drive-in by my grandparents' house. And so my parents took us to see it at the drive-in. And before they did that, we watched the original trilogy. And that was it. It was the That was the only time I saw them. And I never saw uh, episode two or episode three until last year. Um, and I saw Force Awakens when it came out. You were three? Okay, I was nine, I think. <laughs> um, oh, you and Olivia are like the same age. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, the yippee, the iconic yippee off of the uh, Phantom Menace podcast that I was on. <laughs> we stand a local boy, okay? <laughs> we do. That's also where Zed Can Read Just Fine came from. Wasn't it 99? I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, 1999 at the Drive-In Movie Theater in South Dakota. It was pretty cool. Hi, baby. <laughs> I can't believe you're even awake. You had such a stimulating morning. Because then 9-11 happened. Oh, and it, that changed how they did episode two? I did not know that. Um, let me get these cat treats open. I haven't given Spooky a treat in so long since he broke the treat, the, the, literally broke the literal treat bank. <laughs> trajectory of the series gets even more political i mean i watch so i watched episode two and episode three last year i can't say that i fully followed them but i tried oh this thing is gonna break so fast but sure okay spooky spooky you want a treat All right, I gave him one down there. That one won't count. When we hang out in the park, if we're bored, just ask me and I'll go on a whole rant. Okay? Noted. You have all the films memorized. I have seen... So I've seen episodes one through six once, maybe twice a piece. And that's it. Where'd you go, cat? Why are you back there? Come up here. Yeah, Wiglaf and I are finally going to meet on Monday. They're going to come to uh, to the park. We're going to have a picnic in the park with all the local queers <laughs> and our dogs. Cosmo. Cosmo. Hello. Hello. Should I give you a treat on screen? Oh boy, oh boy, there's a dog. <laughs> well, that's Cosmo. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Hey, Cosmo, down. Get down. You're causing too much chaos up here. Get down. You're breaking shit. You're not breaking it, but you're like it's causing drama. Cosmo, down. Down. You made this all crooked. What did you do? <laughs> okay. Puppy chaos. Puppy chaos. Okay, that's it for right now. Let's let's chill on the trees. She had so many treats today at the gym. Because <laughs> everybody at the front desk wanted to give her one. Didn't they? Because you're so beautiful. Because you're so beautiful and everybody loves you. Except Spooky, who thinks you're really annoying. Because you are pretty annoying. <laughs> but also the best. Oh, what was that? What was that? Sometimes, uh, I think sometimes Spooky sits, like, in the middle of a doorway to be like, you shall not pass, because she's still scared of him. Um, and she will bark at him, because she's like, you're being mean, and he is being mean. <laughs> Cosmo. How are you, baby girl? Are you okay? Your ears flipped over. Your ears flipped over. I wish there was a way to get her on screen more easily. I could put a chair over here. I don't know if she would sit on it. We can try it. We're going to try an experiment. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I tried. I put her on the chair. <laughs> she immediately left the chair. Come up here. Come up here. Cosmo. Oh boy. I couldn't get Crunchios like Rand suggested, but. These are mini milk bones that are only like five calories, so they're fine. Cosmo, you want a treat? a clip of Cosmos tree bobbing, but then I didn't copy the link because I'm a dumbass, but it exists and you should have it. I'll find it in my clips later. Thank you for that. Yeah, now you're being a camera hog because there's competition. Cosmo, come up here. I don't want to put this down because I'm afraid he'll eat it. treat for Cosmo. A treat for Cosmo. Good girl. Good girl. She's like, okay, and I'm off. But we did it. We got her a treat on camera. Oh, that's not right. One W. Yeah. 
that might become your treat chair. Spooky, lay down. Lay down, relax. Yeah, you can get in there. <laughs> She's such a dummy. You can open that door. You can. It's open. Just push it a little bit. She's so sweet and so dumb. She's actually really smart. That's not fair. <laughs> the tree card is the tree card is slated. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Nope. There we go. She finally pushed her face forward far enough to get through the door to the water in the bathroom. Okay, let's get to this game now that we've had plenty of pet chaos. We gotta do this situation, whatever this situation is. Want to keep me company while I grade freshman papers? That that's what I'm here for. That's what they're here for. If I find any banger sentences, I will share them. Please do. The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? with those hits. This next portion is pretty straightforward, at least in terms of gameplay. Listen, I'll take it. Keep your hands off my skelly. That is a serious weapon, which is nice. Was pretty easy. I did literally nothing and it didn't even take that long. Master Moon is going to make this thing easy going forward. We love to see it. Okay, hang on. Before we go this way, let's just see what happens if we go this way. Oh, we can't. Because it, I see. It's blocked. Alright, well, I solved a puzzle that I didn't even know was a puzzle.
Also, you did something that I love to do, but I didn't realize you picked on party members. One party member from when you were Surge and one party member from when you were Lynx. Oh. I mean, they're just my favorite people. <laughs> my favorite little dudes. Oh, I gotta... Oh, wait. And I gotta fix that command because the commands are no longer correct. Is this a door? Are you a door? No. Okay. Are you a door? No. <laughs> are you a door? No. Not a door looks kind of like a door, cause yeah. I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh, there I am. because I got so many shows to catch up on and dinner to bake. Okay, Amy. Oh, well, that wasn't an intentional choice, but it's a choice I've now made. Tell me I can climb this. I cannot climb this. Can I run up this? No. Ugh.
Now we got Surge doing like 600 damage in a single turn. We're in good shape. Scott Wrigley! Thank you for the hydrate, Scott. Ah! Go. Can I get up here? Thank you. Can I get up here? Oh. I see. Okay. Well, that's fine. What's happening? What is this? Is this just a fight? All right. I just want to go back down then. Looks like there, there's not something up here. It looks like there is. Okay. This way? No. Is there anything before I skip it? No. Hello. Hello, I can't see. Oh, depth perception. Sometimes playing this game is like being in a an MC Escher painting. <laughs> and I never know what's actually going to connect to what. Hi.
What are you doing? No. 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 <laughs> Absolute chaos beings today. Ah! Rude. made it soon. What was that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here, and I have been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed three times its original size in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos's flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos's offspring. That's not good. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Surge? That's not a place. start getting a stupid little useless gun. This is where I came from. I could have literally just gone this way. Okay. Take the long way home. Oh, that chest I was trying to get to. Pack of lies. What is that? Did I come from this way or I want to go this way? been this way.
Get that ghosty boy. See, I feel like they're also inconsistent with which water makes you fall down and which water doesn't. Baby girl. be done with this part soon, I hope. Ah! Uh -huh. I didn't even see that one. Take him out, Surge! Try as I might, I cannot avoid these guys. I'll just punch him one time. Okay, that ain't it. That, oh, I see. Cause then you can do this, and then you can do this, and then you can go up here. But first, another fight with a ghosty boy.
Probably gotta fight this red guy. Let's do that. Many have bled, suffered, and perished. It is your turn to die. Okay, little plastic red horse dude. Do I need to go over there? I, I probably don't, because definitively the direction that I'm going is the direction forward. But is there something up here? Ah, a chest. Don't need that. Don't need that because I'm cheating. Okay. Stay in our lane. There we go. Mike said this is the final it's the final dungeon. Dun -dun -dun. Can't climb. 
find that. You don't want to grade? You haven't found any good sentences yet? Not a one? I want to mess with OBS and two stream stuff. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky! If you haven't even looked at that. Avoiding the little fish dudes. We're avoiding the little fish dudes. This feels tedious for no fucking reason. My <laughs> PhD, okay. Sure. Chewing a rope that she is actually allowed to chew. Anytime I can't see her, I'm like, oh no, what are you eating that you shouldn't be eating? Oh, you were messing with OBS. <laughs> Spectral glove. Oh, I bet that's for uh it's for our boy. Yes. I have no self-control. <laughs> Listen, OBS is productive too. Maybe not top priority productive, but at least it is also productive. Disability, not a conscious choice. Yeah, I hear you. I'm not I'm not trying to judge. I'm sorry if it came off that way. I'm not judging. I may be giving you a little bit of a hard time, but I am not judging. <laughs> I don't wanna fight you. Cause it's boring. Being sarcastic with myself. Okay. Oh, I see. I took it. I took it to heart. It's disability and definitely not a conscious choice that I am entirely in control of. I hear you. I hear it now. I hear it. What the hell is going on? We're in Viper Manor. Whoa, that was like super extra fast. Okay. I would love a save point. Oh, hello. Is that radius? Profit. I should have gave tone indicators. <laughs> Welcome. It's good to see you finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist. But never mind that. No, I mind very much. What the fuck are you talking about? More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Who are you? <gasps> My name is Balthazar! 
In the ancient kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a sage of reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say that things got out of control, and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply that... Uh, apply to that the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which had been long since lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epic. What are you doing back there? What are you doing back there? I used it to time warp to this age and to learn of Chronopolis and fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. Terra Tower is really a city of the reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Oslo's descendants who achieved a much more intimate evolution with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. It may be pseudoscience, but it still feels like a lot of science. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more important now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed away the dragon god's powers, in effect becoming a god itself. Thus, the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. Classic. It was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal away the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate was actually the protector of humanity. Come on. The dragon gods were originally a single, singular plasma life form, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. That life form was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. This is a lot. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms. It then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon like appearances are just pseudo guises, temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished, but all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons, who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten, traveled across the dimensions to recombine into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that was once lost, but later found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars, and two moons. The cosmos. The info dump. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more, the final dragon. Oh, the dark moon dragon, I think is what that said. The one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage to the fate computer. The child of the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you knew her as... Oh, dun dun dun! Unbelievable!
unbelievable. The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa. But either way you look at it, now's the time to set things straight. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Honestly, thank goodness. <laughs> hey, mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw in the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another. Be careful now and good luck. Jeez. Can I have a save point, please? Can I have a save point, please? How do I get up there? I guess I don't go up there. But I think I have to go up there. It's on the bookshelf. Press X. <laughs> what X would be. Press A. There is a switch. Push it. Jeez. Not an encouraging sound. Didn't we crash through that window? That was in the other world, Zed. Probably. I mean, now what, though? I thought we would be going forward? But there does not seem to be a forward here. This was like a mirage. Oh, right. This is a place that doesn't exist, Radius. Or the prophets, the prophet who looked like Radius said. <laughs> Just leave? But then do I have to... Oh, now there's a different door. There's such a thing as a save point. Can I go this way? And does it take me anywhere interesting? Stairs? keep going this way because the chest is no longer in the way because I opened it hello you have returned Ugh, I think it's gonna start raining right as I like have to leave for work wait it's Friday yes okay I just had a moment of panic and I was like oh do I have to leave for work in five minutes no to leave for work in an hour.
return our trees. Give back our green forests. Okay. Let this fight do its thing. I will be right back. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Oh, yeah. Does this do anything? Yeah, it does something. <gasps> A save point. Surge, up there. That must be the summit. Look, those two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of ceiling device. I see what we're going for here. <laughs> Cross. <laughs> this, how do you say ceiling device?
The Chrono Cross is useless in combat except for the final battle. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's see if we can do one side of this before we go. Uh oh, if it's gonna be this straightforward. Hi, hello. I'm here to interrupt whatever this is. can go do the other side. <laughs> so that's all it's gonna take. <laughs> Is the center the final battle, Mike? It's the final battle for this boss, then you'll be done with this dungeon, and then you'll have the final battle at a separate location. No dungeon for that, though. Got it. Your next Chrono Cross stream will probably be your last for this playthrough. Okay. That'll probably be tomorrow morning then, I think. I gotta check how long the show I'm seeing tomorrow afternoon is. I think it's two hours. I would have to do it uh, before I go see the show. So, Chrono Cross finale tomorrow morning. Light raining. Oh. 
and it's going to stop from 8 to 11 while I'm at work, and then be raining again when I leave work. Cool, love that for me. Like, yeah, we'll rain from 5 to 7 while you're taking your dog out and on your commute. Then we'll stop raining while you're inside. And then we'll start raining again when you leave. Dun dun dun! Oh, not canceling D ball. And then it stopped 10 minutes later. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay. I don't. I am going to stop once I get back to the save point so that I have time to take the dog out and eat some dinner before I go to work. Shorter stream than I intended today, but okay. Blame, ugh. Blame the puppy for that. It's just so satisfying when you hit them and they fall down. We did it. So, we will finish tomorrow? Maybe? That would be exciting. I'd love to get to playing some other stuff. And I haven't given up on finishing Pokemon. I'm just still freaking grinding the Pokemon that Amy told me was the best one. <laughs> um, but eventually we will finish Pokemon also. Uh, but we'll start something new next week, which I'm looking forward to. We'll see what that's going to be. I don't... I'm not being cagey. I, I don't know what it will be yet. Um, let's see where we should raid to. Oh, 
I think let's go... Let me check this person out real quick, but I think we'll go here. Um, yeah, so tomorrow morning, 9 or 10 a.m. would be my guess, Eastern Time. We'll do a, a morning stream to finish up Chrono Cross. And then I may stream Sunday night. I was supposed to do, go do something with people from work, but I have to come home and let the dog out first. And then I think it's going to be such a hassle to get to where they're going that probably not going to happen. Um... Okay, cool. Let's do this. Yeah, we're gonna raid to this person. I don't think, oh, it is their first playthrough. Okay, cool. Love that, love that. And they are, they're doing the dragons, it looks like. So, don't forget to spread that raid love over to our new friend. It's how we help grow this community by meeting new communities. Um, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your Friday, a lovely holiday weekend, if that's a thing that you get. I don't. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.